Hello and welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Paddy, and today we're looking at the Dead Army. Let's go to the highlight reel. Here it is, anyway. It's finally made its way to Kickstarter. Yes, the Dead Eye, Mad Max World, where you're driving the car, post-apocalyptic fun. Yeah, and it's a solo game, which sounds very, very cool, actually. It could be the coolest solo game on the table. Uh, You need to wear the stereoscopic 3D glasses just to make it look even cooler because there's animations on the cards. Buckle up your red suit. Oh, can you hear that? Traffic outside. Motorcycles. It sounds like we're in the dead eye. I got the rig. My PC. Oh, you, you mean the car. Sorry. The rig for me means my PC. <laughs> so yeah, cool solo game. Imagine playing this on your lunch break or in the pub. People watching you, they'd be super curious, but they couldn't see what you're seeing. Um, eye popping visuals. I bet it has got these because stereoscopic glasses are cool as heck. I remember these in the 80s. Woohoo! Yes. We'd love to see more expansion content come out from the Dead Eye, and we may get that. Understanding is that it's three chapters long, the campaign. It's cool, 3D specs. I like how they've been designed so they don't look like we had in the past, and they look like the ones from the comic book, the prelude comic here. So uh, they've kind of designed their own so they don't look like the chunky square ones that we may have seen in the 20th century. Now you can up the pledge by $10 and you get an alternate dust cover, which I prefer the one that there. I mean, I don't think that, that, that I'd have that. So yeah, these are, this is not the kind of stuff I want to pledge for. And then another 40 to get a rule book with your name in it. <laughs> what is this charity? What we want to pay for is content. Pleasant Company Games. Content! We are content with paying 25. We'll put 50 in if there's another box with another campaign in it. Do are people interested in the game? And yes, it's looking a hot solo game. Goodness me, it really is. Uh, yeah, it's coming in time for Christmas. They're asking for some help. So there is kind of that. If, if you're backing this, please say, Expansion! Expansion! If you look at here, look, it's like a wall of text that you'd see in an update, and it's a bit poor. What we're seeing here is the story of a Kickstarter newbie. Nice they've got an early stretch goal because the game does fund at 99 You can reel the rulebook. I'm not going to go into the rulebook per se, um, but the game is totally solid. Oh man, this rulebook's fantastic! Look at it! Professionally done, this is amazing! Looks great on the table! Extremely stylish, looking really cool. Hot property, one of the best solo games that's come out this year. And it just needs more content for me. Just, that's it. When it gets an expansion come out, this is gonna be an Insta bag. We just, it's a small box with three camp chapters in, and I wanna see more, I wanna see more. So hopefully this campaign surprises um, peeps like me on the fence but I wouldn't be surprised if you want to jump in here and just give them your backing with $25 because if they see people are after this game then you know we may see expansions in the future but um, but there we go the dead eye would we recommend it of course we would a super unique solo game nothing looks like this and the gameplay looks fantastic Wow, this solo game looks like no other, and it, it's super, super cool. Oh my goodness, this does look good. Well, let's go to the Kickstarter page right after this important message from the studio. Kickstarter Radio 102.4 does not stand still. It is constantly evolving. Our Saturday show has just been upgraded to the newest, skinniest version, where we only look at the games we covered in the week in a new, skinnier format. Also, our live show on Sunday has been trimmed off the fat too, and we look at games that we could not cover in the week that are full of promise too. 
and also we will be covering all the interesting and cool games that are worth your attention, so it is worth subscribing to this channel just to see all that we offer. So why not subscribe and make this channel even better as we have a ton of social stretch goals. So this channel gets bigger, better, and better for you, the viewer that loves Kickstarters. So if you're bored of retail, this is the YouTube channel made for you. All right, the dead eye. Um, I don't know if you've been noticing this in the last few years. I'm pretty sure I saw it at Essen last year, or maybe the one before, or even Gen Con, I can't remember, but here it is anyway. It's finally made its way to Kickstarter. Yes, the Dead Eye, Mad Max World, where you're driving the car, post-apocalyptic fun. Yeah, and it's a solo game, which sounds very, very cool, actually. It could be the coolest solo game on the table. That is, if you're wearing the stereoscopic glasses. <laughs> All right, so you got to escape a terrifying planet. How are you going to escape the planet in a car? Hmm. Is it going to be easier? You go to a rocket at the end of the story? Anyway, my interest is peaked here, yes. Uh, you need to wear the stereoscopic 3D glasses just to make it look even cooler because there's animations on the cards. And when you tap the cards, rotate them 90 degrees, that animation goes away because they've been used, which is kind of nice. Um, we're at the very early beginning of it, so it's people are coming to it very slowly. And um, it only has a few backers, but it'll probably get much bigger as the word gets around. So let's have a look at it. Buckle up your red suit. Oh, can you hear that? Traffic outside. Motorcycles. It sounds like we're in the dead eye. Okay. Buckle up your rad suit. Fire up the rig. Uh, the rig? My PC? Oh, you, you mean the car. Sorry. The rig for me means my PC. <laughs> it's time to escape the hell waste. All right, yeah, so it is a deck optimizational puzzle with nail-biting moments of pressure look. Yeah, you kind of see what's coming, so you can, like, um, react with what you have. So um, there is some strategy here, and um, definitely worth watching the playthroughs for certain. Um, each run lasts between 15 and 20 minutes. And uh, you can save your game in this game as well, to, um, it's, which is cool. Super immersive experience with a 3D scopic, of course, because only you can see what's happening down below. So yeah, cool solo game. Imagine playing this on your lunch break or in the pub. People watching you, they'd be super curious, but they couldn't see what you're seeing. <laughs> um, eye popping visuals, I bet it has got these because stereoscopic glasses are cool as Heck, I remember these in the 80s. Woohoo, yes. And um, yeah, a little bit, a lot of text here at the front. And um, why is there no look at it on the table um, as we come down the page, which is a bit sad, but but hey, this guy, um, it's very, it's an uh, indie game. Now it says they're gonna create a minimum viable print run of the Dead Eye. Um, and probably this will push it to retail after its success, if it succeeds. We hope it does, because we'd love to see more expansion content come out from the Dead Eye, and we may get that um, 28 days. It'd be great if an expansion pops up on this. All right, so standard pledge is fairly cheap at 95 bucks. It looks like you're getting one campaign here, here, and it would be nice to put more in here to get more adventures. Um, my understanding is that it's three chapters long, the campaign. And, um, yep, get these cool 3D specs. I like how they've been designed so they don't look like we had in the past. And they look like the ones from the comic book, the prelude comic here. So uh, they've kind of designed their own so they don't look like the chunky square ones that we may have seen in the 20th century. 
So there we go. And they also, they, they pretty much look like the goggles that you, you've probably seen in Mad Max movies that they kind of wear on their faces with the helmets, the open helmets. Looks very, very cool. Nice player board here, and um, you're kind of jumping around these things. <laughs> it is what it is. You're going to be placing cards on these anyhow. Now you can up the pledge by $10, and you get an alternate dust cover, which I prefer the one that there. I mean, I don't think that, that, that I'd have that. A making of book. Meh. For $10, I think I can do without that. Um, so yeah, these are, this is not the kind of stuff I want to pledge for. If I'm pledging for this, it's 25 bucks only. And I'd put more money in if the expansion content comes out. I mean, this game has been in production for a couple of years, if not more. So um, we'll wait and see. But at the minute, you know, it's like 35 and then you've got to up it 15 for a signed print. And then another 40 to get a rule book with your name in it. <laughs> what is this, charity? Are we giving you charity here? What we want to pay for is content. Pleasant Company Games, content. We are content with paying 25. We'll put 50 in if there's another box with another campaign in it. Totally. So yeah, we expect surprises from this company, so we are, we're gonna be pushing the reminder on the for sure. He does talk here at Stretch Goals. He says, we wanna know, first of all, if it's a viable product. Do our people interested in the game? And yes, it's looking a hot solo game. Goodness me, it really is. Now it says it's complete production ready. Um, and if you look at the timetable for this, it's destined for Essen Spiel time, November. So yeah, it's coming in time for Christmas. Now there is gonna be stretch goals though, and it says here, uh, they are looking to include backer comments and scene suggestions for the unfinished cards. So they're asking for some help. So there is kind of that. If, if you're backing this, please say, expansion, expansion. And we've room to upgrade quality and finishes. So this is uh, expected anyway in card games, isn't it? If you look at here, look, it's like a wall of text that you'd see in an update and it's a bit poor. Um, really but it's kind of this what we're seeing here is the story of a Kickstarter newbie who's fresh to Kickstarter he's a complete indie rocker and he's coming in here without any Kickstarter experience without even looking at what the Kickstarters are doing so it's a little bit of a shame here that he's not showing up more of the cards and more of the gameplay and stuff like that but as you can see that we're only a little bit down the Kickstarter page. Let's get keep going down. Nice they've got an early stretch goal because the game does fund at 99999. This this 10,000 10,000 backer pace thing. But um, yeah, th this is the final art. So yeah, they're just putting more promo cards out at the minute. But, hmm. I'm not even sure if I'd go for this game at 25 because I want to put a bit more on the meat here. I would want to put this with an expansion so then I know I've got like a good book. It's like I don't like buying a book with only 100 pages. I prefer buying those thick books because I can read that book for time. I can put more time investment in that book and enjoy it. I don't like thin novellas. And this is what this is kind of like with a solo game. It's like a novella. And I would prefer a book where I'm getting more chapters out of here. I don't know how you feel about that. But um, is it slam 20 in and um, hope for that coming around? Mm. I just hope we see it on this campaign. I really do hope that. All right. Now you can reel the rule book. I'm not gonna go into the rule book per se. Um, but the game is totally solid. It is solid, 
and uh, the mechanics. You can the best thing you can do is watch Rad Radho's playthrough, and you'll get a fantastic overview from Radho. And I recommend that as your next research part. Um, it will completely sell the game to you. And um, if there's any negative, it's we want to see an expansion. We want to see an expansion. But um, even though we can't see the stereoscopic view here, but you can kind of see it's showing you some effects here, like the lightning going across, just to show you that these cards do stuff when you've got the glasses on. Um, so yeah, there's, there is stuff going on here and when you're driving your car it can get hot so you you're gonna be you can put stuff in to cool your engine down um, so to make it less risky and there's some real cool mechanics going on here and look at it it's very stylish as a game it really is totally looking stellar oh yeah even the back of the cards here looking nice I like, I like all the, the uh, design the graphic arts I like everything about this game it is very good. We got Radho here. Recommend this totally um, to get you feeling the mood that we're in. Lots of good testimonials here, and the shipping. I don't know um, why you'd be buying more copies of these, but <laughs> twenty for worldwide shipping, not too bad. And. Um, Big thanks to our subscribers as we've smashed the 250 sub goal and new music will be pouring into all our new videos. The next stretch goal is the big 500, which we calling the day one live event. If there's any giant Kickstarter games coming out, we will do a live stream as soon as it breaks so you can watch our first impressions of the hottest Kickstarter games. Also, if this unlocks, we will be bringing you all of the games that have those pesky early bird deals so you can get the action when it comes so you never miss the opportunity to unlock something really cool that you may have to pay in the add-ons. So this will make sure our program is heading towards the best we can do for you and you will help make the station become the best damn Kickstarter board game channel that there is. Help us evolve the channel by simply subscribing. Oh man, this rule book's fantastic. Look at it. Professionally done, this is amazing. Looks great on the table. Looking amazing. We're in love with this rule book, in love with it. It's looking fantastic. Looking amazing. But if there's one thing we want, that we want to see, that we really want to see is an index, an index please, an index please, yeah. Extremely stylish, looking really cool, hot property, one of the best solo games that's come out this year, and it just needs more content for me, just, that's it. When it gets an expansion come out, this is going to be an insta bag. We just, it's a small box with three camp chapters in, and I want to see more, I want to see more, so hopefully this campaign surprises um, peeps like me on the fence, but I wouldn't be surprised if you want to jump in here and just give them your backing with $25, because if they see people are after this game, then, you know, we may see expansions in the future, but, um, but there we go. The Dead Eye, would we recommend it? Of course we would. It's super unique solo game. Nothing looks like this. And the gameplay looks fantastic. So anyway, there's the Dead Eye. Oh, oh but more on the plate and we'll definitely be ordering. Because we're hungry for this game. We really are. We've been watching it a few years. It's finally come to Kickstarter and it's not disappointed. And yes, we just want to see more. I think I've made my point. <laughs> Alright, on that bombshell, you've been listening to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Paddy. You take care, stay safe, and bye for now. Oh.